Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rosamie Esarreño, and I will be reporting about the Filipino norms and principles. So let's try to define uh, what is principle first. So principle is a law or rule that has to be or usually is to be followed or can be desirably followed or is an inevitable consequence of something such as the laws observed in nature or the way that a system is constructed. So in a simple terms, principle is a proposition or a value that is a guide for behavior or evaluation. Um, a concrete example, for instance, uh, in the for us teachers in our department or in the Department of Education, we have the Code of Ethics for professional teachers. So these uh, ethics should be understood by us teachers um, because this is part or this is essential characteristic uh, of our or part of our organization and uh, we also uh, for the organization to effectively operate um, this code of ethics or this principle or this laws or rule should not be ignored so this is one example of a principle now let's go to norms let's define norms so norms are a fundamental concept in the social sciences. They are most commonly defined as rules or expectations that are socially enforced. Norms may be prescriptive, meaning we are encouraging positive behavior for, for instance, be honest or be kind, or proscriptive, meaning we, we are discouraging negative behavior, like for, for, for instance, do not do this or do not cheat. So that is um, the definition of norms, or in, in a simple term, norm are rules or expectations that specify uh, how people should and should not behave in various social situations. So these are types of norms. We have the cultural norms. So this is basically uh, behaviors that are generally true to a certain culture. So a culture is a group of people that share the same background and same history. So the norms there are, uh, are the, the rules that these people follow as a general rule. And we also have social norms. So these are group held beliefs about how members should behave in a given context or in a given situation. So I have here examples of uh, Filipino norms. So let's start with, of course, as you can see on the picture, um, we do have the, or uh, we do the manupo. So um, I'm not sure if you, some younger generation still observe this, but um, in my case, uh, in my kids, um, I still practice, uh, I, I still ask them to do this to all the um, elderly, uh, all the older uh, people in the family. So we do the manupo uh, all the time as a Filipino tradition, wherein kids or people who are younger take the hand of the el elderly, then put it in your forehead as a sign of respect. So traditionally, we tend to we tend to the gesture to our like grandparents, our parents, uncles, aunties, so generally everyone that is older than you so however some people prefer not to do it because it makes them feel old okay so another example is or filipino norm is the saying of po and opo so in line with the philippine custom in terms of respecting the elderly we always say po in our sentence so for example on the picture salamat po so that's uh, saying thank you or kumain na po ba kayo okay. so that's another example then another Filipino norms is of course during Christmas who wouldn't like 
you know, Christmas it's the it's the best time of the year. So um, it is commonly observed that Filipinos do have the paroles or the lanterns decorated everywhere in their houses, everywhere, even in the plazas, um, in the municipalities. So uh, you can really feel the tradition when you can see paroles or lanterns decorated uh, during the Christmas season. And uh, in connection to the Christmas season, so we also observe or we also have the uh, Misa de Gallo. So our Christmas will not be complete without attending or celebrating Misa de Gallo. That's nine days before Christmas. Okay, so that's another Filipino norms. Then next is we have coarse rice. So in a Filipino meal, th that is not considered a meal without a rice. Okay, so um, rice is part of our norm um, as a Filipino in all our meals, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even snacks. <laughs> okay, so we have also um, the lechon during fiestas. Uh, so um, it is common to Filipinos that during fiestas we do celebrate and we do have feasts and the lechon is the star for all season the star of the uh, the table and of course we also aside from that we also um have this norm or practice of um br uh, giving um uh, or bringing home or the bring house bringing home the uh, me or certain vayan or ulam mga left leftovers or sa mga sabi nga bisita no Okay, so that's one of the norms that we have as a Filipino. And also, the singing of the national anthem. So it's not only observed in schools during flag ceremony, but also it is observed in public offices, for instance. And the first day of work or the first day of the week, um, they sing the national anthem. Or, for instance, in the movie, if this is the first showing or the last full show, so um, we are singing the national anthem and we are expected once we hear the national anthem we are expected to stand up for you know to show our respect so if you are walking or if you are playing and if you hear the national anthem so you should stop whatever you're doing until it finishes so these are some of the filipino norms we actually have other norms um, as a Filipino, but uh, these are the only complete examples that I can provide so now. So, I think this is all for my report, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone.